Hello everyone! Now in this episode of Delicious Turkey, I will show you how to make the famous pide. There are seven regions in Turkey, and pide is from the Black Sea region. But before, let me tell you a little bit about the region first. In the Black Sea region, it rains a lot and so the nature is always very green. The high mountains are covered with forests. There are beautiful lakes as well. Sumele Monastery is on the side of a huge cliff. It's quite a view. There is a local fish called Hamzi. It's only caught in the Black Sea. It's a type of anchovy. The locals prepare all kinds of dishes with Hamzi, but the most popular is pilaf with Hamzi. The high mountains covered with wildflowers are very good for beekeepers. And Turkey produces some of the best honeys in the world. The other world-renowned product from this region is hazelnuts. Nearly 70% of the world's hazelnut come from the Turkish Black Sea region. If you ever had hazelnuts in your chocolate or cookies, it's probably from Black Sea region in Turkey. The Black Sea region is also a big producer of black tea, the favorite for all the Turks. Turks start the day with tea and continue until after dinner. Almost every meal is completed with a freshly brewed cup of tea. The Black Sea region has amazing food. One of my favorite dishes from them is the bide. It's really delicious. It's sometimes filled with meat, with vegetables, with eggs, with any kind. But they're also famous for their tea. And one of my favorites, their nuts. From walnuts to hazelnuts, you can find it all on the Black Sea region. So let's start first with the bidet. And here, it's almost like a regular yeast dough. And now I'm gonna add a little yeast to lukewarm water and let the yeast start to dissolve and then we can and then we can add it to our flour. I'm gonna add some butter to my flour here. Okay. Since in the Black Sea region we use a lot of butter. Now let's turn it on, a little salt. And voila. All right, gonna add the yeast. And water. All right, we're gonna remove our dough from our bowl here. Put it on the board. A little flour so it doesn't stick. All right, now I'm gonna let the dough rest so the yeast gets activated during that time, I'm gonna make the filling, one with meat and one with vegetables. So, you can choose. Okay, very nice. So, cover it, and we put it in a warm place. All right, now we're gonna make the filling for our bidet. So, I have a pan here with a little olive oil or a little butter. So, or a little bit of both. Okay, a little butter, melted butter. And then we're gonna heat that up. And here I have some beef because this region has a lot of beef, a lot of cows, a lot of milk and butter and everything. So, we're gonna saute the beef with a little bit of onion, some garlic, and maybe can add some peppers, all right? Add some onions. 
a little garlic. Some spices. Maybe give me a little cumin if we have it. A little paprika. Okay. Make sure everything is mixed together and then salt and pepper. And done, and here we go. Our filling is ready. That's the meat, and now we're gonna do veggies. All right, and now I'm gonna make a vegetarian filling. With all the wonderful peppers, onions, and we use the delicious butter from the Plaxi region. Look at the color, how beautiful, see that? All right, onions. And I brown them lightly, and then I will add the peppers, the garlic now. A little spices also. Okay. And now we're gonna add the red pepper. The green peppers here, the spicy green pepper, they're good. All right. Turkey is one of the biggest organic vegetable exporters. They grow vegetables all over from the Mediterranean to the east of Turkey. So vegetables are a big part of Turkish food, of Turkish cuisine, but also they are a big exporter of it. Okay. Now for this dish, the vegetables have to be cooked a little bit. You can add other vegetables too, but we have bell peppers, onions, spicy peppers, tomatoes at the end. Okay, taste before we cool it off. We have the two fillings here, vegetarian, beef, but we also can make it with cheese. This is Turkish cheddar cheese. So we grate it and put it on our bidet. Okay. Two. All right, our dough is ready to be rolled out. So it has risen, it's nice and soft and tender. Okay, don't forget to flour. The most efficient roller, what they discovered on the Black Sea, huh? Okay, good. Make a cheese one first. Here we do our cheddar cheese in the middle. Okay. Then just pour it over a little bit. Okay. 
All right, we are ready to bake our first bidet here. All right. Now, at the Black Sea, they have this huge stone oven, and we're gonna cook it on our pizza stone here. Uh, Turkish cheddar cheese is ready. Mmm, look at that bubbling cheese. All right. Okay. I'll put it right here. Smells delicious. And we're gonna brush them all with a little bit of butter. Because in the Black Sea region, butter is king. They have the best butter over there. Okay, a little garnish. If you pass the leaves or a little dill, whatever you like, and here we are. Look at that. I think you're gonna have to go to the Black Sea region just to eat the bidet and get some tea with it and a bottle of wine. All right, and here we have our bidet with meat, cheese, and vegetables. The Turks love to drink tea with that. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect tea. You always use loose Turkish tea here. Look at that. Then you boil water and then you sprinkle the tea on top. That makes the best tea. So you let it brew for a while, sit for a while, and then just brew it into your tea glasses. And then we're gonna add a little water to it too, so it's not too strong. Okay. And here we go, a delicious glass of tea with a little pide, and you are in Turkish heaven. Please watch the other episodes of Delicious Turkey and do not forget to subscribe to Go Turkey YouTube account and follow it on social media.